viruses. A computer virus works almost exactly like a biological one. It infects something healthy, hides inside, and then spreads when the host interacts with others. Instead of making you cough, it makes your computer glitch, slow down, or even destroy files. Viruses attach themselves to normal programs, documents, or images. When you open that file, the virus activates and spreads. Sometimes the damage is small, like annoying pop-ups or random crashes. But some viruses are catastrophic. The famous I Love You virus in the year 2000 spread through email attachments disguised as love letters. Once opened, it overwrote personal files, then sent itself to every contact in the victim's inbox. Within days, it infected millions of computers worldwide, shutting down government offices and corporations. That's the danger. A single careless click can unleash chaos. Unlike other malware, viruses usually need human interaction to spread, which is why hackers disguise them as tempting files, photos, games, invoices, or free software. The lesson? If you don't recognize the sender, or if a file feels suspicious, never open it. Because one wrong click can turn your entire computer into ground zero for a digital epidemic. Worms If viruses are sneaky stowaways, worms are runaway invaders. A worm doesn't need you to open a file, it spreads automatically by exploiting weaknesses in software, operating systems, or networks. The second it finds a crack in the wall, it slips in and begins replicating itself across every connected machine. Imagine one infected laptop in a school, office, or hospital within minutes, the worm can slither through the entire network. The I Love You virus may have grabbed headlines, but worms like the sequel Slammer in 2003 proved even scarier. That worm spread so fast it doubled in size every 8 seconds, crashing banks, airlines, and even emergency services around the world. Unlike other malware that tries to stay hidden, worms often make their presence obvious by consuming massive system resources. Computers slow to a crawl, networks choke, and internet speeds plummet. And here's the kicker. Worms often carry a payload which can include other malware like ransomware or spyware. That means they don't just spread, they bring in backup. To stop worms, security patches are critical. But since many people ignore software updates, worms thrive. They're proof that even one unpatched system can put thousands of others at risk. Ransomware Ransomware is one of the scariest malware types because it turns your own files against you. Once installed, it locks everything documents, photos, music, even entire business databases using strong encryption. Then, a ransom note appears on your screen. Pay money, usually in Bitcoin, or lose your files forever. Hackers often target businesses, hospitals, and governments because downtime costs them millions. One famous case hit the city of Atlanta in 2018, where ransomware crippled police records, utilities, and government services. The recovery cost exceeded $17 million. Ransomware spreads through phishing emails, fake downloads, or compromised websites. Sometimes all it takes is opening an email attachment that looks like a normal invoice. Once inside, it spreads rapidly and locks everything in sight. The worst part? Even if you pay, there's no guarantee you'll get your files back. Hackers might take the money and vanish, leaving you with nothing. Security experts now warn people never to pay because every payment funds the next attack. The only true defense is prevention, keeping backups offline, updating systems, and learning to spot suspicious emails. Ransomware shows how hackers don't just steal, they hold your digital life hostage. Trojans Trojans are digital tricksters. Named after the legendary Trojan horse from Greek mythology, they disguise themselves as something harmless like a free game, music file, or even a fake antivirus program. But once you install them, the trap springs. Unlike worms, Trojans don't spread on their own, they rely on you to willingly open the door. And once inside, they can steal passwords, banking details, or even allow hackers to plant more malware. Trojans are especially dangerous because they prey on human behavior. People looking for crack software or free versions of expensive apps are common targets. Hackers upload fake versions filled with hidden code, and once downloaded, the victim unknowingly hands their device over to criminals. Some Trojans specialize in stealing money by recording keystrokes when you log into your bank. Others focus on spying, copying your files, or hijacking your webcam. One of the most infamous was the Zeus Trojan, which stole millions of dollars from banks worldwide by targeting financial transactions. The biggest danger of a Trojan isn't just the malware itself, it's the door it opens. Once you let it in, hackers can install anything they want, making your computer their personal playground. Spyware Spyware is exactly what it sounds like, software that spies on you. It runs silently in the background, tracking what websites you visit, what you click, and sometimes even what you type. Hackers use it to steal usernames, passwords, credit card numbers, or just to build a detailed profile of your habits. Unlike ransomware, spyware doesn't lock you out or demand money right away. 
Instead, it hides and watches, often for months, while secretly sending your data back to its creator. That makes it especially dangerous because victims usually don't realize they've been compromised until their identity is stolen or money is missing. Spyware can come bundled with shady apps, pirated software, or even fake browser extensions. Keyloggers, a type of spyware, record every keystroke you press, from emails to banking logins. Some spyware is so advanced, it can even take screenshots of your desktop. One famous case involved government-grade spyware called Pegasus, which could track calls, texts, and even location data from smartphones. Spyware's power lies in invisibility. While you go about your day, it's quietly collecting everything it needs to rob you later. The best defense? Stick to trusted downloads and always watch for strange system behavior. Rootkits Rootkits are some of the most dangerous malware ever created because they don't just attack files, they hide inside the deepest parts of your operating system. Once installed, a rootkit gives hackers near total control of your computer, all while staying almost invisible. Traditional antivirus software often can't detect them because rootkits disguise themselves as legitimate system processes. That means hackers can spy on you, steal files, disable security software, or even install more malware without you knowing. Some rootkits are so deeply buried that the only way to remove them is to wipe the entire system and reinstall everything from scratch. A famous example was the Sony BMG scandal in 2005, when millions of music CDs secretly installed a rootkit on customers' computers to prevent piracy. The rootkit accidentally created new security holes, leaving users vulnerable to real hackers. Rootkits are particularly dangerous for businesses and governments, since attackers can use them for long term spying. They don't just want to break in, they want to stay hidden for years. Once a rootkit takes hold, your computer no longer belongs to you. It becomes part of the attacker's toolkit, invisible but fully controlled. Botnets A botnet is like a zombie army, except the zombies are computers and the general is a hacker. When malware infects a computer, it can quietly turn that device into a bot, part of a larger network of hijacked machines. The scary part? Owners usually have no idea their device is compromised. Hackers then use these botnets to launch massive cyber attacks, like distributed denial of service, where thousands of bots flood a website with traffic until it crashes. In 2016, the Mirai botnet hijacked hundreds of thousands of smart devices, things like cameras and routers, and used them to bring down major sites like Twitter, Netflix, and Reddit. Botnets aren't just used for attacks though. Hackers also rent them out to spammers who want to send millions of junk emails, or to criminals running fraud schemes. Because each bot contributes a little power, together they form a huge invisible machine. Botnet are so dangerous because they scale. One infected device doesn't do much, but a million? That can shut down parts of the internet. The best defense is strong security on even your smallest devices because even a smart fridge can become part of a hacker's army. Fileless malware. Most malware leaves behind files on your hard drive that antivirus software can scan and delete. Fileless malware doesn't. Instead, it runs directly in your computer's memory like a ghost. Once the system is rebooted, the traces vanish. That makes it extremely hard to detect and stop. Fileless malware often enters through phishing emails or by exploiting bugs in common software like web browsers or Word documents. Once inside, it hijacks built-in tools that already exist on your computer like PowerShell or Windows management instrumentation to execute its attack. Because it blends in with normal system processes, traditional security programs rarely notice anything suspicious. Fileless malware is often used for high-value targets like banks, governments, and corporations because it leaves almost no digital fingerprints. A a single attack can steal login credentials, plant back doors, or open the system up to future hacks. The worst part? Even advanced users usually can't tell it's running. Your computer may look normal, but in the background, sensitive data is being siphoned away. Fileless malware proves that sometimes the most dangerous threats are the ones you can't even see, leaving organizations scrambling for new ways to defend themselves.